So the one thing that I really liked about this movie was the fact that they used the Seder Square information in it. What is the Seder Square? Yeah, whoa, whoa. I should clear up because I, I, I did it again. The second go around and I still didn't get it right. I want to make clear if you're listening or watching this, that if you're if you're listening or watching for us to reveal everything about this movie, explain it so you understand completely 100% what's going on here, you're in the wrong place because <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. We're uh, just giving you our thoughts on the movie and surrounding things that make us think about this movie. Yeah, and what we liked about it, what we maybe didn't like about it, <laughs> yeah. um, whether we liked it or not, found it entertaining. But Karen... Our lover of games, lover of puzzles, yes, is going to explain to us about the Seder Square, not Kenneth Brana, right, but his character Seder. There's a Seder Square. Yes. Can you so, hear her now? <laughs> Can you see her? Now? <laughs> yeah. exactly. Oh boy! Oh boy! So the word tenant is right out of an item in history. Um, there's a five word Latin palindrome that's carved in stone. Um, like and... Moses coming off the mountain carved in stone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, the the earliest, uh, example of it dates back to the ruins of Pompeii buried in the ruins of Pompeii. And it, the center words in it is tenant forward right in the center and going up and going down Mm -hmm. and one of the words in there is seder one of the words is opera um one of the words is uh opera backwards or a ropo well the first scene of the movie is is at the opera right they they seder is the guy's name uh, spelled exactly the same spelled exactly the same a ropo is the is the name of the villa where um they she goes to pick up her son from school. Um, obviously, Tenet is in there over and over. And, and the fact that it's time forward and backwards. Um, they use this uh, Seder Square and the, the idea of history forward and backwards over and over and over in this movie. And it's freaking cool. And when I mentioned it to you guys, right over your heads, neither, yeah. you, neither one of you had heard of it before. So... so with the exception of you telling us last week, it's still over my head. You're not. <laughs> All right. So, okay. yeah. I, I mean, I understand the premise of it, but... Yeah. It, it's got me a little excited because hearing that, yeah, hearing that and then knowing, knowing or what I've heard is Christopher Nolan is a pretty big nerd. Yeah. So the, it makes total sense to me and it makes me even more excited for the movie because I enjoyed the movie a lot. And then you add this, something that you can go down the rabbit hole a little bit right? and just kind of connect some dots. And the forward backwards of time and yeah. all of that being tied right into the Seder Square. I, I appreciate that about the movie. It made me appreciate the thought that went into the writing and the time and the fact that they used tenant as the key word throughout the movie. The history buff in me enjoyed that. Was there a point in the movie do you remember that you realized the about the Seder Square? Uh, yes. When, when well first of all when they said that the name of the movie was Tenet I knew I had a hunch that it was about a Seder Square but then when he goes through the very beginning of the movie and it's a test and then he's given the word Tenet to unlock time um, I I knew that there was more coming Mm -hmm. than as soon as they had the opera scene i i went you gotta be kidding they're gonna use they're gonna use this all the way through the movie then when then the bad guy his name is Seder. i'm like yep here we go so you knew about all these words beforehand all that happy stuff i knew what the Seder square was so you're a learned person i don't know if i would say that but i do know history Tough. Jeff, you think that this movie will s- saute itself and boil down and really get good, like a, a good sauce, 
Like it takes a little like time. Like a fine wine. Like a fine this wine. Is good, this movie's gonna age like a fine wine. You it watch is. in three to five years minimum. Yeah. Maybe maybe not even that long. I think people are going to look back and say, "Wow, I underestimated Tenet," or that movie was really underappreciated. What other movies would you categorize like Tenet that have aged well over time in the last ten or fifteen years? Um, Aristocats. <laughs> oh wow. Dumbo. <laughs> Things that you keep watching and you keep seeing little things hidden in there that you didn't see before. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think Matrix is probably one. I would like the, the Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Because there was so much little stuff in there that people didn't catch. The Illusionist. The Illusionist was really good. I like, I mean, that one aged well for Karen and I really well. Like, we watched it the first time. It's very entertaining. At least for us, it was. And... The more you watch it, the more the little stuff that, I mean, they do a lot of reveals and stuff like that, but mm-hmm. as you watch the movie, you start to see some of that stuff that's already there that somebody paid really close attention to about what was shown. Piece of fabric hung, hung on a certain wall a certain way, and you go, oh, I did not see that before. Yeah. Okay. Little stuff like that. But I think Tenet will do that. And we get a bonus. There's a lot more action in this movie. True. A lot of action, and it's so cool. <laughs> I didn't mention this before, but this is a movie when I watched it, as I was watching it when I was done, like one of the first people I thought of was my dad. Like this this was a, this was felt like a movie like him and I would watch or he would watch and really enjoy and be entertained. In fact, he called the other day, and I was like, Dad, you got to see this movie. It's on my voodoo. Mom has it. On the, It's on the TV. Just ask Mom to set you up on the voodoo and watch Tenet. When you get a chance. Did he? I don't know. I don't know. This was just a few days ago. You're going to have to reach back out. Yeah. Really bug him. The problem with doing that, though, is you're going to set his expectations up high. <laughs> I know. And I, I hate doing that. Yeah. yeah. That's I, rough. Oh, you got to see This movie's amazing. Right. It's incredible. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen. My daughter's done that for me, and it's been potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Like straight <laughs> potato movie. Like, what? What is this movie? It isn't for you. Yeah. She really enjoyed it. Yes. Um, Critical consensus reads, a visually dazzling puzzle for film lovers to unlock. Tenet serves up all the cerebral spectacle audiences expect from a Christopher Nolan production. Are you ready for the Google synopsis? Sure. A secret agent is given a single word as his weapon and sent to prevent the onset of World War III. He must travel through time and bend the laws of nature in order to be successful in his mission. Probably one of the better Google synopsis, I think, just because it's shorter. You know, you don't get like <laughs> an entire movie, novel. The so new. Yeah. <laughs> it can't be wrong. We got to go with some of the older movies again just to get Google back on track and sucking yeah. <laughs> hardcore. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Stupid Google. Was this, hold on, because <laughs> was this was this one of the ones that we did IMDb and it was just like three words? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Uh, here, yeah, I think you're right. The movie's not bad. Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> Um, I think it was the last one. It was the last one. Yeah. It was. No, uh, they must have changed it. Okay. Anyway. Did you like this movie? I did. I did. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I mean, I'm giving it like three and a half. My first go around. And I Mm -hmm. think you're right. The more, when I watch it again, I think it'll be better. You'll like it even more. It'll be one of those that just keeps simmering down and getting good. Yeah. You know? Um, But even I watched it and I think I had to get up once. And I think I screwed up because I had to get up, you know, and left the movie running. So Mm -hmm. there might have been a miss of something or whatever. But who was your favorite character? Honestly, my, my favorite character was the supporting actor Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. Um, and the only reason why was the, and again, the character, not just the acting, but the character itself, you know, and super spoiler alert, you know, at the end of the movie at, or at the beginning of the movie, whichever, whichever way you want to look at it, he gives, <laughs> you know, he goes back and takes a bullet for Washington, you know, and basically saves the day. I think that that was one of those where he valued the friendship so much and, you know, Washington didn't have an idea what that friendship was yet, kind of mm-hmm. a thing. So he was living time the other direction. So it was, 
I really appreciated that. And then he didn't give away the ghost right off the get, the bat, you know? The whole character in the play, he really made the movie, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. This is, yeah, good choice. What about you, Karen? Uh, I know it's kind of off. I mean, it's easy to pick the, the main characters, but I liked the, the gun runner lady yeah, she's pretty cool. I've, I said that last week, too. Priya? Yeah, Priya. Thank you. I liked her because they kind of hide it that she's the she's the mastermind of it. Um, they, they bring her back in at the very end of the movie. Um, she's made tough decisions several times through the movie that kind of... Uh, sway the course of time does that character resonate with you is that who you want to become oh yeah no <laughs> no, no 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 i mean the lady you know <laughs> the, the mastermind that's not the not on the forefront right that's just the puppeteer i don't know i just and that would make you the puppet yeah pretty much yeah <laughs> that's it that's us i just i just like her the character that they she was a very cool character development in in that character. I mean, there's other characters that had lots more time in there and built very well. I like that they made her so different. You know, and I, I'm glad you brought that up because I think one of the knocks on the movie by, by some is Elizabeth Debicki's character mm -hmm. and how Christopher Nolan is incapable for writing any depth for a female for any of his female oh, characters, but I think I you just then you I disagree because look at Priya. Yeah, very strong lady. Yeah. yeah, and you know with a lot of power and she's a mob boss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I had to watch this twice. I fell asleep the first time. I mean, because I just I got I missed like one or two small things, but they ended up being big things because I had no idea what was going on, and I was I was really tired, and so it was like two thirds of the way movie. I'm just like. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to have to start this over the next day. So that's what I did. I watched it. And once I figured out what I missed, so enjoyable, so much fun to watch. And then I told you guys to watch it yeah. twice. And Anyway. I, the character that Washington plays looks like he's having so much fun in that powerboat. <laughs> I remember when that thing came on, because I, I had the sound up pretty high when I was yeah. watching it. And the roar of that engine man he and the look on his face, I was like, oh. I, a, I relate. B, I'm jealous right now. <laughs> you look like you're having the fun that I would love to have right now. <laughs> you know that comment about Elizabeth Debicki? They say they say that they don't, they can't write women with any depth. But then at the very end, she, you know, she goes in and deceives her husband Andre for the length of time necessary to get the other guys to safety and. When she knows they're safe, she shoots him, and because she can't let him die, not knowing the truth that that she's <laughs> that they're not together. You're you're not gonna. You can't not, take me with you. Yeah, you can't take me with you. I am I am separate. I have a will, and you know you're not gonna die on your own terms. So what is that? You know, you, I totally disagree with that co uh, comment of writing women without without depth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she might be a little bit servitude in the in the beginning, but she redeems herself quite well. Yeah. All right, what else you got for us, Jeff? What other road are you going to lead us down? Do Do we want to get into the peanut gallery? Oh, uh, we got a lot. You want to? We have to do some peanut gallery. Okay. Let's do some peanut gallery before our battery dies. I mean, you don't have to do 50 of them, but okay, two or three positive okay. negatives. Oh, Are there negatives? Yeah, the, yeah there's, no, there are no. some negatives. <laughs> Positives. Five stars for Elizabeth Debicki only. There's there's Elizabeth well, Debicki fan. There, yeah. yeah. I don't even know what she played in before, but. Me neither. Cool. All right, Elizabeth <laughs> yeah. Debicki, five stars. Yeah. I Okay. Yeah. My favorite movie of 2020. Again. And this was in August, right? So August, yeah, not too bad. Got a little bit of, a little bit of rumbling. And, and I, I didn't, I didn't verify when this was written. It could have been written in December. I don't know. 
Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, I have no problem with that. I think that's better than someone saying that The Little Things is the most underrated movie of 2021 and the, a month into the year. Well, in the time we did it, it was only two weeks in. Right. Three weeks in, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I literally understood nothing, but that's my fault because I was staring at Robert Pattinson the whole time. So was I. <laughs> uh, Chris Nolan, you have my respect. Okay. I can't believe Nolan pulled this off. The madman really did it. The madman. Is what, he a madman? Apparently. What did he do, though? He pulled what off? I Telling this story visually... It was difficult. <laughs> it, it, it at, was a, difficult. at a minimum difficult. Like, yeah. It could have sucked really bad. Yeah. In somebody else's hands, it could have sucked really bad. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Ugh. So, yeah, the storyline is rough. Not to say it's hard to follow, but you have to pay attention, right? Mm -hmm. But to make that visually capturing, having the right people make it happen with you, good Lord, man. Yeah, this, I mean, the cinematography, the art direction, it's all got to be there. The editing. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. editing. Yeah, exactly. The score. The score, it's, got, it's all got to be there, yeah. <laughs> the teamwork. All right. Got some negatives? I'm ready. Got some negatives. <laughs> I'm ready. The half stars. All right. Probably okay. some people that wish they could give it zero stars if they if they could. Okay. But you're rating something. Let's hear it. Literally one of the worst films I've ever seen in my entire life. And, oh, that's right. This is where we came up with maybe people should get out and watch movies more. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get out. Stay in and watch more movies. Opposite from what I said before of get out and get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Never mind. Just take us with it's you. Probably, I mean, of course, it's literally going to be one of the worst movies you've ever seen in your life if this is literally the only movie you've ever seen. You know, What do right? you have to compare it to? Exactly. And if you didn't follow it, you're toast. If Maybe the only other movie you saw was uh, Goodfellas. And yeah. Or True Romance. Yeah. Let's say you watch True Romance, and then you watch this one. Could be the worst movie of your life. I don't know. We might have to do True Romance. God, I love that movie. I, yeah, I, I've i got my, you know, because Tarantino wrote it. Yeah. I so much want to see, because I, I, I found out how it was, you know, Tarantino talks about how he had written it, and then Tony Scott took it and put it in order. Yeah. So. I, I, that movie is great, and it's coming up on Valentine's Day oh, pretty soon. Oh, So, <laughs> True Romance coming back on the movie list for me and Karen oh boy. we'll take that off we'll take that off uh, Boom. offline yeah thought I'd give it another shot but it holds up even less upon subsequent viewings what a god awful movie wow. probably oh. the only person in the world is. <laughs> I, don't I don't know either uh, I haven't seen this yet but too many people try to explain it to me and they say stuff like you just don't get Nolan man I hate it <laughs> I, I hate it I haven't, I haven't seen it. I, haven't I seen hate it. it. Half a star. I've made that mistake with you once where I said I didn't like a movie because I've heard it was bad. And I think you tore me a new one. Yeah. I don't even remember what movie it was. I, it was a long time ago, yeah. back before we. It might have been before podcasting when we were way Just back. Just talking then. about yeah. the idea. Yeah. And then we were having some fun with that. And mm. I, made, I made the mistake. Never again will I make that mistake, Jeff. Have you even seen it, Aaron? Exactly. No. <laughs> I'm glad you finally saw Dances, though. Yeah, I did. This really sucks. <laughs> Short I'm, and sweet. I'm really happy that they gave some indication of what sucked about it. Yeah. Did they, though? They just said this. <laughs> this. That was there. That was there. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Voice is too soft and the backyard music too loud. Apparently, there's a concept to this movie, but I couldn't follow it. Can anyone explain it to me? No. <laughs> nobody will. Because nobody can. <laughs> the madman's done it again. The madman did it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced, because I've, I've listened to people try to explain it, that it just adds to the confusion. If you're already confused, it just makes it worse. You have to come up with your own definition of what's really going on, I think. And I think the more you watch it, I think that's why it will. You know, Maybe like The Matrix, the first one, where people start thinking outside the box. Yep. All right, next one. Brace yourself for explanations that you don't give a solid crap about and the worst <laughs> character development in town. I thought it was impossible to create something worse than Dunkirk. Wow. Okay, yeah. so this person doesn't like 
Dunkirk and really thought this was worse than Dunkirk. Yeah, they just don't and, like movies. And therefore, they're on the... the okay, two guesses. All right, everybody gets a guess at the, what kind of movie that person likes. The Little Things. The Little Things. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbo. <laughs> no. Um, Frozen. Little Nicky. Oh, that's below the belt. Because <laughs> to that person, Little Nicky is a cinematic masterpiece. Right. All about Steve. Yeah. Karen, come on. Give me one. No? You're shaking your head. Uh, I'm say something that'll hurt your feelings. <laughs> say it. No. It's, <laughs> don't worry about my feelings on the podcast. Dodgeball. Dodgeball. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> You're ripping, my, <laughs> you're ripping my intestines out with dodgeball. Step Brothers. Uh, the best thing about Tenet is the fact that it's worse than literally every other movie. I wish the digital copy were made of inverted matter so I could unsee this botched abortion of a film. Jeez. Wow. Whoa. Uh, last but not least, Adam Sandler's Click did it better. Wow. Wow. I, I didn't like Click. It's, Click was tough to watch. I, I enjoy it because I don't have to think at all. I don't have to use my brain at all. I mean, it's literally like the laziest story out there yeah. that wake up from a dream at the end. Right. The only line I like from Click is, and that I use to this day, is the, I told you I was an angel. Just the angel of death. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I like it because it's Adam Sandler, Christopher Walken, yeah. and Kate Beckinsale. I told you so I was an angel. Yeah. <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> All right. I yeah. mean, any final 